Today on Discover Wisconsin, an area sewn together like a patchwork quilt of different cultures creates a community you'll want to see for yourself. And I think this area is a place where people really just enjoy having some fun. As you'll see, by its very nature, you and your family will have some fun in Portage County. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Klett. This state is covered with destinations that all have that special something. Well, Portage County has made a name for itself by its very nature. This area is surrounded by scenery and nurtured by friendly faces. So let's go see what put this county on the map. Created in 1836 as a territorial county in the center of the state, Portage County is named for the land between the Fox and Wisconsin rivers, where settlers had to carry their boats to get from one waterway to the other. Portage County was built upon the hard work of its people, who were drawn to the area for various reasons, one of which is Wisconsin's premier waterway flowing right through the heart of Stevens Point. Antone, what's the significance of the area we're in right now? Well, you are sitting right along the Wisconsin River Bank. And what made Stevens Point is the river and its surrounding area. It was surrounded by uh, huge virgin uh, white pine timber. And from about 1848 all the way until the 1880s, this is the area which was harvested. Then the river basically developed for industrial and agricultural purposes. Plus, you're sitting on a Green Circle Trail and the Green Circle Trail uh, surrounds the whole city of Stevens Point, about 26 plus miles of it, where people can enjoy the river, the natural setting, and you may hear behind you the geese squawking, and, and it's just an enjoyable place to be. A short distance from the Wisconsin River is downtown Stevens Point. A warm and welcoming center of activity, its city walls are covered with hand-drawn masterpieces illustrating the connection of days gone by and the people of today. Every mural that you see is an original historical picture. These are actual pictures taken here in uh, 1910 as well as in 1898. Uh, the lumberman or the riverman was taken right across the street, uh, river from where we are sitting. The faces have been changed to depict modern day Portage County leaders. One such leader has become famous for bridging the past and present with his enthusiasm for polka. This is Mark Mazlowski, the <laughs> Polish polka prince of Portage County, and with me today is Stephanie Klett. Every Saturday morning, Mark takes his love of polka to the airwaves, so I decided to drop by to see what I could stir up. Someone here promised that he'd sing to me on air I, I, a little polka tune. I, I will. Uh, just, because just because you think you're so pretty, just because you think you're so hot, <laughs> just because you think you've got something that nobody else has got, you cause me to spend all my money. Honey, you laugh and call me old Santa Claus. Well, I'm telling you, baby, I'm through with you because, just because. How about that? I love all it. Right, all right. Woo! There we go. The polka thing is just one facet of what we do here uh, in Portage County. And if you take a look, we've got the university and you've got all the different radio stations. You've got all the different types of people. This area here was founded by the Polish people, the German people, the Norwegian people. And so when you look at Portage County, you see a blending of all of those ethnic heritages here. A perfect example of that can be seen at the annual cultural festival. This all-day event celebrates the richness of the many cultures in Portage County through food, entertainment, children's hands-on activities, ethnic arts demonstrations, exhibits, and an arts and crafts fair. About 30 different ethnic groups participate in the event to celebrate the area's richness and diversity. One fall festival that captures the spirit of tradition is Dozinki Harvest Fest held in downtown Stevens Point. The event honors the community's Polish heritage, 
using the age-old name Dozinki to commemorate the end of the harvest. Highlighting traditional Polish foods, and of course the polka, this event is a fun and easy way for the whole family to experience days gone by. Come see what you can learn with a trip to the cultured and friendly Portage County. Visit discoverwisconsin.com to help you plan. Coming up, hear why the locals say Portage County has it all. Anything you want to do, you can do it in Portage County. Stay with us.